Here's the score, folks. Just in case you're just signing on, I noticed a couple of people just come in the chat room. Score right now is 13-11 in favor of Jason Shaw. Oh boy, he hit it and it didn't hurt him. I believe he's got the shot. Maybe a real pro in the chat and Hob don't do not know how to PM. Okay, so look at left-handed. He looks just as good left-handed. Good idea to play both hands. See that he can reach the ball good. And try to back and overcut it. the room right. And he's going to sell out to the side pocket. Um, getting back to the winners of the sets of pitchers, Real Pro 22 and Harv 1174. If you do not know how to PM, uh, somebody, Foxy Blue 52 is going to PM you guys. But if you do not know how to, just send your, you can send an email and Foxy will send that in the message. Jason's wasting no time as he still wants to stay on top of this game and go up by three. You have it, 14-11. Jason Shaw on a tear. We want to thank That's right, NYC Grind for jumping on board to co-produce this live stream. Um, yeah, I'll see you up at Snookers. That's for sure. Talking to Southern Death in the chat room. He won a free pass to the show. The last time we were up at the Turning Stone, he was one of the winners. I know. He's on the cover. He's typing and red. He doesn't want, no he doesn't want nobody to know hey, he's here. <laughs> I can't wait to get under the cover. <laughs> it's chilly out there. <laughs> All right, let's watch from the spot. <laughs> Jason Shore leads by three, 14 to 11. We're racing at 21 today. That Again, time. just missed the side. This time the one does dress up. He's got a chance to go out. Yeah, he made a ball. He's got a shot. Got to move the magic rack. <laughs> That's okay, Steve. <laughs> Type in any color you want. <laughs> it's a nice country. <laughs> We're only joking on this side. We're keeping ourselves busy. We love having you. One ball, two rails. Back out towards the center of the table, just above the four ball, and have the shot on the two in the other corner. To get above the four here. He did. He got perfect. He got perfect. He got the perfect angle now to get to the middle of the table. Thank you, Foxy. Oh, that's close for comfort just coming by the yeah, ball know. like that. I don't know if he can hit it full enough to draw it. And if he goes forward, balls are going to be in the way. Let's see. Might be able to punch it past He's it. got the wrong angle to draw it. He tried to punch it past it. I told it. you, he's going to hit a ball, but he did all right with it. He fought for pole position, folks. Well, he's going to have to take a long shot now on the five. Can't get close to the five. Since this and then take your shot on the five. Got a slow roller. No good. Missed it. No good. Jason yeah. Shore is up at the table before the four ball stopped. Perfect. Yeah, he's sneaking away now. Yeah. He's starting to 
loosen up those wheels on the train. But he needed help from some of Johnny's errors too. Absolutely. But he'll take advantage. He will take advantage. commentary in the booth up there in Providence. I remember that day. Yeah. That was the match, yeah, Mike Davis versus Earl Strickland. We had a great time. I'll see you probably in February. If I'm not mistaken, I'll see you up that room. Snookers, what a great room. Unbelievable. I was telling Danny about it. He's never been there. In Providence, right? Yeah, what a beautiful. Yeah. I told you, Carl Galanti's son lives in Providence, and he probably goes in that pool room. Probably does. I mean, that's the place to go. All right, Jason Shore is going to head off and facilitate. So we're going to take a break right now. Hey, folks, we're back as Danny D is going to take a break. He'll be back in the booth very shortly. Jason Shore elects to get on the way. Bring you up to date with the score. It's now 15 to 11 in favor of Jason. Safety was called. He's actually left Johnny Moore a shot in the upper left-hand corner and hold the cue ball. It's very simple here. Just put a drawer on it and bring it back one rail for the three in the bottom left-hand corner. But being that this table is kind of tight, it doesn't go in. Both players elected to play on a tight table, plus with the Cyclops balls, because they are heading down to Derby City Classic after this, and they will be using diamond tables with the Cyclops balls there. Yeah. So that's why they're using this, uh, this set of balls. In fact, the uh, AccuStats will be streaming that Derby City Classic with Danny DiLiberto and Billy and uh, Mark Wilson, Mark Wilson and, and all the guest others. commentators. Yeah. yeah, but the main uh, commentators, of course, are Danny DiLiberto and Billy, Billy and Condona. Um, Danny is here with us. 
Listen, everybody asks me who my favorite guy to do commentary is. Don't tell. Don't don't pump me up because my head will never get out the door if you say it's me, Danny. Okay, I won't say it to you. All right. It's, <laughs> it's Billy and Cardona. <laughs> okay. They said, why are you happier to do it with Billy? I said, because I feel totally comfortable insulting him. <laughs> it's true. And you know what? Pat Fleming said he's the only guy I'm allowed to insult. Okay. I can't insult anyone else. So you got to go ahead from the top. I did. <laughs> well, he's going to have to go three rails now to the five in the side. That yeah. is the five. Yeah, he's got to get to yeah, the bottom He's got to go five rails. Or t- there it is. Got to watch the eight. The eight's growing here. No, it ain't. It's not. No, he's going past it. Wow. He's going past it. Yeah, okay. He got perfect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I got... I got to tell you, you were more right than I was. I got lucky there. How about that little position on the short side, huh? Yeah, he's in gear now. Be careful. He's got to go forward two rails, I believe. One, two. Buckle little, my shoe. He did it. He's okay. He's fine. Perfect. Boy, oh boy. The freight train is starting to pick up steam. There you have it. Jason Shore now coming with it. Leads by five. Once trailed by four or five. Want to stop smoking? Come to Kings of Vapor and let us help you stop today. We have five convenient locations in and around the Akron area to serve you. Kings of Vapor is proud to be the largest vaping retailer in Northeast Ohio. So whether you are new to vaping or been using vape for a while, we've got all your needs covered. Be sure to sit down at our flavor bar to sample from one of our hundreds of unique flavors as well. Let Kings of Vapor help you change your life this new year by making the choice to quit smoking. In case you're wondering who those two young ladies were, they both named Stephanie. All right, what do you say? We already went through 27 racks of nine ball. Can you believe it? I can't, that was quick. Johnny Morris at the break. Watch the eight. Ooh, came close. Just missed, the one just missed, and I believe the seven went in the side. Sure did. But he doesn't have a good shot on the one. I think we're gonna be seeing safeties. There's no doubt about it. You can't be banking at the game here because the two is not sitting good. Tough safety, too. I don't think so. Just Played a cue ball the below eight, the two. Miss the eight and go forward. Just oh, no, he went behind it. Oh, what, that's a great shot. What I thought was hard was pretty simple for John to play that cue ball and tuck it in close. That was what I call that's a dirty shot. shot. Right there. Very dirty shot. Tough hit, tough hit. Not impossible. Wow. He's trying to tie the ball up. He miscued, he had a miscue. Did he? Yeah. He wasn't just trying to tie the ball no, up? No, I think he miscued. I don't know. I didn't hear the click, click. He looked at his tip after he shot it. Oh, that's for the backer. Yeah. yeah. Anytime you miss a shot, you look at the cue <laughs> and look up at the air. <laughs> it's CYA. Cover your arsenal. Well, Johnny, you better take advantage. Yeah, Johnny's got to step it up now. Trails by five games. That just you know enough to get back to the center of the table, give yourself some oh, allowance, he's fine. some room. Yeah, he's fine. I like that shot. Yeah, the balls are sitting pretty good to run out.
definitely want to be off the rail here. Oh, he will be. He's got an angle to bounce. Pretty good. Didn't now over, I think didn't he draws it at all, yeah? yeah. Shoot this eight in the side. Al, well, you need to go a little further. Does he go three rails and wind up on I, the left I, I side would, of the nine? I would cinch it and just take the shot. Man. But you were right. Yeah, he wanted to get straight in on the eight, but when the ball's hanging, you can go anywhere off it, which he did. 16 to 12 now. We were talking about Diana Hoppy, and what we wanted to tell you was she does have the Earl Strickland Road Stories 2 now available on DVD. Earl Strickland telling a lot of road stories, and Diana Hoppy right there to record them. And don't forget, I sing on that. Not this one. I don't? No, you sing on Road Scholars 2. Well, what's this? This is Earl Strickland's Road Stories. Oh, okay. I don't sing on Earl's, no. But that's available. 843-838-7770. You can get in touch with Diana Hoppy right there. The other thing she's working on is what Danny's talking about, this one here. He yeah. not only sings, he's Fred Astaire. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire all in one. There you have it, the Road Stories, uh, wrote the Road Scholars to the final chapter. Going to be available to the public right now. The footage is secret. And see, wait, we didn't mention one other guy there, and I don't want him to get mad. Truman Hay is to the right of me on the picture. One of Kentucky's best bank pool players right there. Yes. Actually, won the Kentucky bank, what, three years ago? Three or four years ago, didn't he? Great bank pool player, but let me tell you something about him. They're talking out there. He had to work and came back down in, in wheel concrete. Oh, they're, they're talking about a shot that, that they remember from a tournament or so? Yeah. Well, anytime I talk about a shot of the past, you know I made it because I'm I don't tell stories I'm not the hero in. <laughs> well, talking about hero in the four ball went right into. Yeah, what do you do now? You gotta play the six. You cinch it, no? You could because you won't lose the one, but look at the two. It's tricky rack. He's got a nice safety here too. Just bring the one on the other side of the eight and try to nestle up the cue ball against the two. But don't leave the kick. He's called safe. That's what he's going to do. He's going to nestle it up. But Ooh. I got to tell you this. Safe isn't so big if balls are tied up. You know, because ball in hand, you don't get out for sure. Johnny Moore is banking this one ball into the corner pocket. And then what are you going to do with the two? You'll Play safe? To, yeah. Well, first of all, if you don't make the bank... Well, he's got it right in, doesn't he? Oh, he's got to jump bank this. Oh, well, I, don't I don't like this at all. Well, he doesn't either. He's got to be going safety. Well, he hit it. And luckily, he didn't hit the look two. What it, look what a cue's going. Yeah, he snuckered him. Well, he's going to have to shoot again because he did call the one ball. So he the did. option is up to yeah. Jason Shaw to send them back to the table. Looking to go three rails here. Well, Grady Matthews, we used his rules once. And if you shot at a ball and missed, your opponent had ball in hand. That's some game. Took all the luck out of the game. And like I said earlier, when I tell a story, I'm the hero. You know who won the tournament? Grady Matthews. Me. <laughs> I know. The Classic Cup in Chicago. All luck taken out, I won. Score right now is 16 to 12 in favor of Jason Shaw. Jason was down by five at one time, Jimmy, and uh, all of a sudden he's up by five. No, he's up by four, but he can up get... Up by four, I'm sorry. Well, he's looking to get ahead by five again. Breaking it up. I don't like that shot. Oh, look what happened. He got caught up behind that the six. That could happen when you hit balls. There's no guarantee you're going to get a shot when you hit him. He would have been better off playing safe off to two instead of this. 
Oh, I think he can miss the eight and draw the cue ball. One rail real strong. Got to draw the ball. Got to jump over the eight. Oh, no. He might hit someone in the audience. Duck he, everybody. He's aiming at us. He's Duck everybody. Listen, if he jumps off the table, he's coming right at us. <laughs> yeah, well, he already did it once. Yeah. He hit me in the toe. That's right. You needed a tow truck. Yeah. Well, don't be corny now. Let <laughs> me be corny. Wait, corny and toes? <laughs> oh, wow. You're getting good. Look what he tries to trap things up. That was the best shot. When you don't have a chance to hit a ball, tie a ball up and let him go. Well, he didn't tie anything up. Right. But that was in his brain. Believe it or not, I don't think the three goes by the five ball. Yeah, but it goes in the other pocket. True. You got to get there. Well, he could. The way they're sitting, I think he could. Well, he's a player. You know, players could do that. Get between the 6-3 uh, yeah, three air, right where he pointed, the short side of the three ball. That's where he has to get. Well, he can go past that uh, six, one rail, and he'll be fine. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. You couldn't put it better with your fingers. Of course, they don't let you put it with your fingers. It would have been a foul. Yeah in this game. Oh, you mean to tell me the rules that you explained to me when we were playing last night, it was okay for you to move the ball with your fingers? Yeah, if everybody's looking somewhere else. <laughs> Five ball in the corner and the six ball right into the side and just pull back a little bit for the seven. And after pocketing the six, it should be all right. Oh, might not overdid this just a little bit. Yeah. Sure did. Yeah, he got plenty. Looking to cut it right into the corner. Watch the cue ball. He missed. He missed. Well, I think Jason's got to hit rail first on this shot. I think he's got the rail. I don't think he can make it right in. He's looking at it. It's close, but I, well, maybe he could. Let's see. I guess, hey. I think he could. Yeah, he's not only See could, how smart I am after he does it? I knew he could do it. With authority, nevertheless. Jason Shore now looking to go up by five, like I mentioned. They have it, 17 to 12. Who would have thought this? And I believe it's John Moore's break. John Moore is breaking on the odd numbers, right? Wait, John just said I break on the even games. So we're going into game 30. He's right. Winner says Jason Shore from the Jersey Shore. Boom shaka laka laka. <laughs> yeah, we got a good group of people out here. Where is Marty Herman? Why isn't he in the chat room? Yeah, it's the 30th game. Johnny Moore breaking. He has to make a ball here, Danny, to stay in this match. Well, the one almost went. He did make a ball. The white ball. Yeah, you can't make the white ball, folks. You give the other person ball in hand. Well, that ball goes in a few places. It goes inside the two. Off the seven? You don't have to go off it. It looks like it goes right in the side, play position. You really don't want to bump into the seven and send it you down. You don't want to hit anything. All. Yeah. He's got a night you've got a wide open table. Actually He's gonna fall on it. It goes in the to, corner yeah. too. And he got good on it. Draw the ball and you're perfect. What do you think's favorite to win tonight, Danny? It's a question in the chat. Well, 
I like Seattle. Oh, you're not talking about football? No, we're talking about this match at hand. <laughs> okay. Get your eyes off that big television. Danny's watching everything no, at one I'm time. Not. No, I'm not. <laughs> Don't let him fib. He, he lied. <laughs> Hell lied. I thought he was honest. You got to remember, I'm born in February. Hey, Mark. <laughs> I'm born, you know, George Washington was honest. Yeah, he was honest. Abe Lincoln. I you, was, only, you only know that because you read. You weren't there in person. Or were you? I might have been. Deja vu, baby. Yeah, I was born between Washington and Lincoln, and it was warm being between them. <laughs> All right. You know, Jason, uh, he's been steamrolling. No problem. He leads by five. He's threatening to go up by six. Yeah, the, he'll be. The, the biggest lead in the match. Good time to get it, too, near the end. Yeah. Eighteen now to twelve. Jason Shaw. Hey, we want to thank some of the sponsors. You know what? AZ Billiards. Without AZBilliards.com, you know, you guys know as well as I know uh, that AZBilliards.com is the world's largest website for pool and billiards. If you are not a member, you can go over there and read the forums. You can read all the articles that they write. Jerry Forsyth and a bunch of. Uh, other writers that uh, do donate their time to writing pool stories, such as Jeff Conway, good friend of yours, Danny, and good friend of mine. Um, AZBilliards.com. You can go over there and read everything. Now, if you want to post something about pool that's going on in your area or whatever uh, story that you want to say, uh, tell everybody, then you have to be a member to post in the forums. But it's free to be a member. It's AZBilliards.com. Without them, believe me, AZBTV, myself, Upstate Al, would not be able to be on the road along with... The other sponsors, Simonis Cloth, the world's largest supplier of billiard cloth. The best balls in the world that, in my personal opinion, you use, Aramith. The Kings of Vapor at the bottom, the Tap League, the best amateur league in North America. And, of course, live stream news on Facebook. And Jason says, hey, how about this news? I'm about to break. I lead here 18 to 12. Let's do it. There goes the eight ball. And the one went in the side. That's he a couple a, times he made those both balls there. He got a hit with that ball, and the ball would have been on the end rail, the cue ball. Instead, it looks like it dropped perfectly. Yeah, no problem with position. This is Three will go in the same pocket. This is what we call a Cosmo here, folks. That's the way it looks to me. Yeah, you're right. Good angle to punch it and go <laughs> one rail off. It's not taking them long. Can you say 19? Can you see 19? It looks that way. Yeah. He's going to be two away. Overshot it just a hair. Should have yeah, no problem though. No problem at all. 19 to 12. Jason Shore now leads by the biggest lead of the whole match by seven games. Derby City, if you can't make it on location, AccuStats, AccuStats.com, you see the logo up at the top left-hand corner where it says Accu with the hyphen and then stats, add a .com to that. They're bringing the Derby City Classic on demand to you. Go over there to their website and check out their early bird specials. I don't know how many days after today that early bird special is going to be up, but you want to get on board right there with AccuStats. John Morris says, I want to get more games on the board, so we got to go back to the live action as John Morris set the break here in game 23, 33. Sorry. 32. Well, he made it in the side, <laughs> not get the right one ball. Later. Okay, well, then he's found something that Jason Shore has found earlier. Yeah, well, it might be a little too late. 
He doesn't have a shot on the two. I don't think he does. He, he looks like he swerved in it. Well, he's just playing. Oh, he's kicking it. Oh, no rail so far. Ball in hand. He didn't get a rail. He did not get a rail, and Jason Shore has another Folks, opportunity at let, a Cosmo. Let here. me explain it, because there's people out there going to say he hit a rail. Right. But you got to hit a rail after hitting the ball, not before you hit the ball. Right. Either the object ball or the cue ball has to hit a rail. After you hit them. Right. And there are folks out there that are just beginners, such as myself. I'm glad you caught that one, You Danny. play pretty good, pal. From here. But don't quit your job. <laughs> Another Cosmo for Jason Shore. Notice the score. He's got a chance to go on the hill. Yeah, it looks that way. And I think it's his break. Slow down, cue ball. He tried I, hard. I say that, guys, but I'm not pulling for anybody. Right. I'm totally neutral. They're both my friends. They're both great players. I don't pull for anyone. Danny, you want to explain the Cosmo, how Cosmo came about? Well, okay, we got all kinds of sayings. When a guy has an easy layout, we call it a road map, a connect the dots. We had a guy years ago named Tom Cosmo that played pool and he had a nightclub act also. He was a comedian, he sang, he danced. And like Mel Tillis, he stuttered, but not when he sang. When he sang, right. he didn't stutter. And he had an act at tournaments, he always did it. He had all the balls in a place where he could run around the table and stop, 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 and wind up getting a 20 from someone in the audience and put it under the nine and then the cue ball would stop on George Washington's face when it was over, and that's Cosmo out. And he never gave the 20 back. He put it in his pocket, and no one complained. So Cosmo basically is a run-out table where you got a wide-open table well, and you, you get a can't chance miss. to run out. Even you can't miss it. Right. And probably became a Cosmo because of that gentleman. That's right. Definitely. He was at Johnson's. Jason Shore set the break. He's on the hill. He wow. Made, the cue ball. Yeah, he made the one in the side again. Look at this. He made four balls and the cue ball, which is five. Pretty impressive. You know, yeah. Jason, I was down in New York City and I was doing a stream, and I, it was a shame I didn't have it on record because he was playing on another table besides the stream table was playing 10 ball and made seven balls on the break and got out well Johnny Morrow's in danger of winning one here yeah and he's and it's his break too yeah, but he needs a touchdown. Yeah, well, you know what? You got to play safe and hook him when you can, if you have that chance. Yeah, you got to forget the score and just try to win him one at a time. And that's what he's going to do. He's seasoned. He's a young man, but he's seasoned pretty well. There you have it. 20 to 13 with 33 games into this match. Tomorrow, folks, 7 o'clock p.m., we go into the 10-ball match in a race to 21. These two young men are going to be at it again. We're looking forward to seeing everybody right back here at the same time. Of course, the owner sometimes elects to go a little bit longer, and we apologize for that. But, uh, you know, he has to cater to his clientele. He's got a fairly new pool room here, and it's a beautiful pool room. And he, he, he's trying to pick the business up, and this is why he's doing what he's doing besides advertising on the radio. John Morris set the break. Again, he, oh, watch out, cue ball. That's exactly what Jason did. Wide open table. Uh-oh. Jason comes to the table with fangs hanging out. He lost one tooth on a reef, but the shock is 
on the table. Yeah. They're all open. I don't see anything to go wrong with. All right, Troy. I know you're going to hang in there because you want to watch it. <laughs> and rock and roll, good night, sir. Everybody's saying good night already before Jason actually gets out here. You think they got confidence in this young man? <laughs> you're welcome, Steve. You're welcome, everybody. And thank you for really watching it. And we enjoy your company. And we enjoy your support. You know, we try to do as many free streams as we can. Uh, but, you know, when owners of pool rooms put on exhibitions like this and, or they elect to go pay-per-view, you know, we have to cater to them also. And it kind of puts us all in the middle, but we try to do the best. In fact, uh, I'm going to elect to run a special tomorrow. I already talked the owner into doing it, and I'm going to put the special up uh, later on tonight. I got some work to do when I get back in the room. And Jason Shore right here on the hill. We're, at, we're in uh, uh, well, Kings of Billiards. He's got a Danny. little bit off here. He's going to move around the table. Watch that side pocket. No, he's fine. Easy with the yo-yo. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, looks like Jason Shore is going to put the second night to an end. And he does. Jason Shore, folks, taking down the eight ball and the nine ball. Both All players. Right, All right. There's the pitches, folks. If anybody folk. wants anything, we've got pitches up here. If anybody wants anything signed when John gets back out of the shop or the bathroom, shower. Uh, well, we thank Danny for sitting in. He's going to step out as he has to uh, do a couple of things. And we want to thank everybody that's been out there, Foxy Blue and everybody helping us out, everybody that's been showing support for what we've been doing. It's, been, it's a long road trip. There you see Chad Bowling right there talking to some of the audience. You see John Moore's girlfriend in the back with the black hat on. As people start to dissipate after the match and before actually Jason got out. So you guys are not the only one that had confidence in Mr. Shore. You see him right there. Hey, Jay. Say hi to that camera right here. Who's on? Everybody. This one right here. And there you see Jason Shore right there saying hi to everybody all over the country. Saying hi to folks back at the homeland and folks down in New York City. And you see the folks in the back waving also. Thank you, Jimmy, for, and I'm glad you made it home to watch them. Uh, thank you, everybody. We appreciate the kind words. Thanks, Pete. We're going to be back the same time. Uh, Thank you, Foxy. Winner, thank you. Appreciate it. Real pro and uh, Harv, if, I hope you got back to, um, to Foxy. If you didn't, I'll talk to Foxy later on, and uh, we'll actually give away uh, another one or two or maybe three sets tomorrow night for the finals. You can see the players signing them right now. You know, Chad Bowling here, uh, actually, I think he's got like 100 pitches or 200 pitches of each player. And he, he's actually given the way to his clientele. Uh, not charging them at all, you know. If they came to watch the match, they have a chance of getting an autographed picture. So, you know, he's doing everything he can. And uh, I'm sure he appreciates everybody's support. And I'm going to say thank you for Chad because he's very busy. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. I'm going to turn it off and I'll talk to everybody tomorrow night. And, and you know what? Chad's been giving away a stick. He's got Nick Barnacues and plus other sticks here, and he's got a beautiful display. And he's been giving away a stick every day, even if he's, he, I, I, not even if, he's not covering the stick amount, that much I can tell you, but uh, with his raffle tickets, but he still gives the sticks away. So uh, he deserves the support, and I'm going to say thank you to everybody that's been out there. All right, guys, tune in tomorrow, 7 p.m. I'm usually up by 6 p.m. Uh, live. We'll see you tomorrow night. Once again, you're watching an AZB-TV co-production with NYC Grimes.